Lang o dito ka? Okay na po, dito na po. Sige po. Okay po, good, good afternoon po, Father Roy. Uh, ano po yung pangalan niya po? Tsaka, pari, ano saan po kayo ng parish priest po? I'm Father Roy Rosales. I'm the parish priest of uh, the Holy Family Parish, which is in uh, Barrio Capitolio in Pasig. Formerly, I was assigned in Pateros, my beloved Pateros, as parish priest for six years prior to my assignment here, also the director of the School of Pateros Catholic So welcome to my parish and uh, what can I do for you? Okay. Yung sa ano pa po, yung sa, di ba, director po kayo ng cultural heritage po? Yeah, we have, uh, we have in the church, uh, the universal church, uh, based in uh, Rome, the Pontifical Commission for the Cultural Heritage of the Church. So, meaning to say that this is a commission under the Pope, and he assigns a cardinal who acts as the president or the head of this Pontifical Commission. So under the Pontifical Commission of, for the Cultural Heritage of the Church are the different archdioceses and dioceses all over the world uh, which belong to this Pontifical Commission. So, in every archdiocese, diocese all over the world, there should be a commission. That is why here in, the, in our Diocese of Pasig, we have the Diocesan Commission for the Cultural Heritage of the Church, or the Diocese of uh, Pasig Commission for the Cultural Heritage of the Church. So, this is a commission under me, I'm the chairman, and I have members coming from the different uh, uh, areas of the diocese, Pateros, Taguig, and Pasig. Okay? And we formed this commission to uh, take care of the heritage of the church in this diocese. Especially so when we have all now four parishes which are considered antique churches, uh, old churches, which should be preserved. So we have the, the Church of the Immaculate Conception Cathedral in Pasig, uh, which is uh, established uh, uh, in uh, 15, uh, 57. I mean, this is the, no, no, 1572. So, 1572. Uh, we became, uh, 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 there's a chapel uh, put up here in Pasig. And then, after that, uh, the uh, parish of St. Anne in Taguig, which is also more than 400 years old, and the one of Pateros, San Roque, Santa Marta, about three years ago, we celebrated our 200 years. And now we added another parish, which is the uh, Santo Tomas de Villanueva Parish, which is now 65 years old. So if you are 50 years old as a parish, as a church, you are considered antique. Okay, so. It is the responsibility of this commission to preserve the antiquity of the church, to preserve whatever heritage, uh, cost, uh, traditions that we have. And of course, the, what you call this, the uh, other uh, traditions that is common to that parish. We have to preserve the tangible and the intangible aspects of uh, the heritage in, in these antique parishes. Tangible, something that we see, 
intangible, something that we do not see. Just like the, the music, the old music, and the prayers and all. But the tangible, the building, the church, the convent, that should be preserved. So another beautiful word uh, uh, which is uh, best to, to describe heritage is patrimony. The old name for this commission is the patrimony of the church. So patrimony comes from the Latin word pater, which means father. So patrimony is an inheritance that we uh, receive from our fathers, from our ancestors. For those who uh, have gone ahead of us, but have started the tradition uh, of the parish. No? So, patrimony means uh, wealth, treasure of the church, which we are the guardians, the parishioners, the priests, most especially, should take care of the antiquities of the church, properties and all. Just like in Pateros, Pateros, you have uh, to take care of the building, I mean of the church itself, which is already antique. So you should preserve that. And then you have the images of San Roque and Santa Marta, which, uh, which are also ancient images worthy of veneration and, and respect. And then, of course, the, the different traditions that you have. You have there the uh, tradition of the uh, Pandanguhan, diba? in, the, in uh, Pateros. And uh, you still have, I remember when uh, I was there, the, the old uh, novenas in honor of Santa Marta and San Roque. And then also the old uh, novenas for the dead, which are recited now by our uh, older people in Patero. So in every parish. In Taguig, when I was there, uh, they had the tradition of, uh, for example, at the end of the wake for the dead, they invite the banda to play, there's an orchestra or a banda that plays music to the people who are there during the last night. And then the traditional dance uh, of uh, the gig, which is the, uh, that they do in, during Easter. Batik. The batik. It's a beautiful practice. It's just a tradition handed down to us in batik. And now we are doing this also here in our parish, that body, during Easter, Easter Sunday. And uh, other traditions, for example, we have uh, established museums in the different old parishes in the world. So we have a diocesan museum in Pasig. We have a museum in Taguig. And we used to have a museum in Pateros, actually, which uh, we have uh, uh, up now, and uh, we don't have any more there. But the, the, uh, the, what do you call this, the artifacts are still there. We cannot put that museum because of the, the place is not good uh, to preserve all this uh, because it's so in close, there is no air, so we need uh, to have, uh, to preserve these uh, antiquities that we have in Pateros. So it is our responsibility to take care of all this. We, we, we just don't throw this away or disregard them, because all of these are part of our history. The Holy Father in the Laudato Si, uh, laments the abuses done to our environment 
and to uh, fail to uh, continue the rich traditions that we have. We have abused today the environment. We have abused today. We have uh, disregarded uh, antique churches. They have closed the antique churches in America and sold this and converted this into nightclubs or whatever. When these are very much part of our history, we are what we are now because of our past. And that is why we always, uh, we have to uh, take care of these uh, churches, these buildings, these old uh, houses and tra traditions that we have. So as young people, as students, I hope that you have, uh, uh, you develop an admiration for these very rich uh, traditions, very rich heritage and inheritance or patrimony that we have received from our forefathers.